Welcome back to another Veteran Safe Place. My name is Scott Swanstrom, and uh, this segment has been brought to you by thefirewatch.org, Florida's fight to end veteran suicide. And we have an opportunity to celebrate another uh, community business and partnership that we have through the Veteran Safe Place. Uh, I'd like to introduce you to Bruce Thompson. Welcome, Bruce. Hey, Scott. It's my pleasure to be here. Thanks for uh, having me. Absolutely. Uh, so you come in as the CEO of uh, Information Blast uh, of Florida. Tell us a little bit more about Information Blast. Information Blast. So what it is, is exactly what it sounds like. It is all kinds of information, whether it's uh, upcoming events, um, you know, classes, workshops for those transition service members, uh, veterans, military spouses, so they understand what transition means. Mm. You know, we have um, job events in there, so those that are in that job hunt, they know how to go and find you know what employers are hiring when. We put you know, let's just go out to the beach and enjoy one of those 904 happy hour events. You know, we get those in there. We get the vets on tap, which is networking uh, events here, hmm. and it, we do focus on Northeast Florida because you know that is where you know me and my wife uh, live, and, and this is what we do. Uh, but we have things that are happening on uh, the rest of the state as well. Mm -hmm. So it's it's great to kind of say, hey, I want to go do this or I want to go do that. And it's just one-stop shopping. You'll find all the resources and information uh, and really uh, help build that community. Absolutely. Very good. So it sounds like you're really just shortening the curve for learning for uh, those who are going from active duty to becoming a veteran and learning this, this new lifestyle again. Um, you've recognized that there's a need. Obviously, you've gone through the Watch Standard Program, through the Fire Watch. You've become a veteran safe place. What about becoming a veteran safe place stood out most for you? Well, one of the reasons that you know me and my wife started doing the Information Blast is because you have these young servicemen and women that you know, hey, I signed a contract, I joined the military, and all of a sudden, like, what did I get myself into? Mm -hmm. You have those young military spouses. Mm -hmm. You know, they, they're even less understanding of the military lifestyle because they haven't gone through that boot camp, that basic training. Mm -hmm. But now they're here. And it's about getting them off base, getting them out of the houses, out of the barracks, so they can actually go see what's going on. And we're in JAX. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of stuff to do in JAX. Mm -hmm. And if we can get you outside of, of the base, um, doing different things, meeting different people, different groups, it's going to improve in quality of life. Mm -hmm. And again, if we can improve in quality of life, we're going to have less of the 22 a day. Mm -hmm. We're going to have less struggles. We're going to have less homelessness. Mm -hmm. And it, it was a perfect match. I mean, you know, it was, hey, this is half the reason we started this. And it just goes so well and along with what we all want to do, which is Make sure that you know veterans, military spouses, uh, you know, and active duty service members and reserve last that ne extra day, mm -hmm. last a couple extra days. Whatever so. happens to be, it's the hey, let's see what we can do tomorrow. You know, today is not the day, and sometimes that's all you can do is is get them through today and you know reattack tomorrow with okay, now what we can do today to to help you further your uh, your life journey. Absolutely. Uh, what a wonderful service that you provide coming alongside veterans and their family members. And uh, you're really just, uh, again, you're providing all those resources in a one-stop shop, as you said. And uh, that really offers hope, I'm sure, to a lot of those that you're working with and just uh, making the world a little bit of a smaller place yeah. for them. And the best part about it is it's absolutely free mm -hmm. to receive. You can go onto our website, um, click subscribe. We're not selling anybody's information. We get you bare minimum, so we actually can get you that email. Mm -hmm. uh, if you have events, we have a spot right there where you can email us your events, and we'll get them added absolutely free. We do this out of a passion. We do not do this uh, to make money or anything else. Mm -hmm. it, it is strictly uh, me and my wife wanting to continue to serve and help those uh, in our community. Excellent. What would be the best way to uh, just inform someone how to get a hold of your information or to find out more about Information Blast of Florida? Uh, simple informationblastflorida.com. Once you go in there, you'll see the subscribe button. You'll see about. Uh, you'll see a little bio on me and my wife. Uh, it, it is definitely uh, a quick entry into what's going on in, in the state, especially here in Northeast Florida, to get you out there and having fun. 
Excellent. Now, I, I know you've had some time uh, in service as well. Tell us a little bit about that and your, your personal transition into the veteran life. Well, I'm a retired Marine. I did uh, a few months short of 24 years. Um, transition, yeah, I'm that person. I transitioned. I, I got that you know really good job right off the bat. It was everything I didn't want to do. <laughs> it lasted uh, four weeks before I resigned because I was headhunted off LinkedIn for a position that was what I wanted to do. Uh, the hours, instead of working a, a two to midnight shift, I was back on a day shift. I mm. uh, got to open my own office, you know, hire my own staff, and it was great. Excellent. But it was contracting. Mm. So after nine months, we didn't win the contracts, it all went away. Oh, wow. And I got to the point where I didn't leave my house for six weeks. You know, Wife left me and the pup were on the, the couch watching TV. Uh, she got home. We were pretty much in the same spot. Uh, wasn't talking about it, wasn't doing anything. And, you know, she kind of, you know, got to the point and said, hey, enough's enough. Mm -hmm. You know, give me that swift kick in the, the backside and said, go, go out and do something. So I went golfing. Mm -hmm. She realized that, you know, I wasn't talking to anybody while I was out in the golf course. Uh, and she's like, not what I meant. Mm -hmm. And so it was the... I don't care what you do, go find something that you have a passion and a love to do. Mm -hmm. Well, it was, you know, helping service members, their families. So I ended up getting into the uh, Department of Labor three-day employment workshop. So I taught three of the five mandatory days for those to get out. I absolutely loved it. Uh, I did it for two and a half years out in San Diego, Southern California, uh, here in the Southeast. And then it got in the way of my volunteering and taking on different things. Mm -hmm. So I resigned for that position so I could volunteer more. And, you know, I've, I've done a lot of different things. And uh, I tell you, if, if it's happening in the military veteran uh, space, I probably have my hands in it or at least know about it. Mm -hmm. So, you know, this uh, Northeast Florida is a incredible region for, uh, you know, helping out the military, the veterans, the military spouses. Mm -hmm. And, there's just no better place to be. I mean, there's, there's a reason why, you know, you know, we're here and there's so many military and veterans around, mm -hmm. you know, Excellent. just doing my part. <laughs> well, that, I, I really appreciate you sharing from your story and thank you again for your service. Um, I'm really uh, glad you had an opportunity to just uh, tell us a little bit more about Information Blast of Florida. And again, to just really shorten the gap for those who are trying to figure out their next steps as well. It's very hope giving. Um, so thank you again for joining us today, Bruce. Oh, it's my pleasure. I thank you for having me on. Absolutely. Uh, if you are interested in becoming a veteran safe place with you and your organization and really want to learn the key skills in recognizing warning signs for veterans who might be struggling with suicidal thoughts, you can go to thefirewatch.org. It's a free training. Uh, the videos are about 30 to 45 minutes long. And who knows, maybe we'll have you on this show uh, someday as well. Thank you.